hi guys welcome to another video in this video uh, we will be talking about some common questions that you were asking me so i have listed all the common questions and doubts that you guys are getting while uh, hacking the 15 meters restriction hope this after watching this video you guys will be able to hack 15 meters restriction so these are the few common comments that i have listed down to understand this video you need to watch my previous video first so i will be giving the previous video link in the i button or in the description so please watch that video before watching this so without wasting time let's get into the video first most common question was what is your uh, dji fly app version and rc firmware and aircraft firmware so i will show you which firmware and app version i am using Oh sorry guys, uh, without connecting to the aircraft and RC, we can't get the RC firmware and aircraft firmware. So quickly I will connect it and uh, show you the firmware. After connecting my phone to the RC and RC is connected to the aircraft, uh, see the maximum height that is set to 250 meters. I am attaching the screenshot for better vision. So guys as you can see on the screen my app version is 1.2.1. Uh, few people are getting the upgrade of 1.2.4. Don't up update your uh, application, keep it 1.2.1 itself. So guys next question was software is not working on my laptop or PC so as you can see there guys uh, this software is only for 64 bit uh, if your laptop or PC is 32 bit it will not work and uh, uh, Windows if you have a Windows laptop then uh, recommended is uh, Windows 10 or uh, you should have more than Windows 7 like Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 9 Windows 10 and linux at least are not working guys for linux even if you have 64 bit linux linux uh, devices it is not working and mac version here is beta version so recommended is windows device you should have a windows device guys then it will definitely work and make sure that when you download this uh, software your uh, windows defender should be off uh, else it will this is un uh, recognized source so it uh, your windows uh, defender will uh, remove the file and you will not be able to install this uh, software on your device i hope so this question was clear guys uh, so we will be moving on to the next question so guys uh, before going to the next question you should know that how your aircraft rc and phone parallelly work together to get GPS and uh, 15 meter restriction. Firstly, uh, when you alter that uh, 15 meter restriction uh, uh, through that uh, software, uh, that uh, altitude is set in your drone and when uh, RC does not have any uh, GPS module in it, so uh, when, when RC gets connected for the first time to the drone it fetches the data and it takes it as uh, let's consider like uh, you have set for 120 meters so 120 meters will be set to the rc remote and uh, uh, when it takes off that time uh, uh, when uh, phone is connected phone is also fed that uh, 120 meters is the restriction so phone will automatically phone application will automatically change and set it itself to 120 meters and while connecting to connecting RC to your phone, your fake GPS should be on. Uh, your fake fake G GPS should be on, and your internet should be disconnected. And make sure uh, this uh, fake GPS is uh, located in such a way that there is, uh, there should not be any airport area or anything in other countries as well. Then then this will not work if there is any airport or any restricted area. So make sure this happens. Next question is aircraft not getting connected to laptop or PC. See guys, there is a simple step to follow while connecting the aircraft to the laptop. What you need to do is just just get the cable, plug it first to the laptop. And then start your aircraft by double clicking it. And then before the beep sound, you plug the cable to the aircraft then it will surely get connected to your uh, laptop or PC guys 
if it did not get connect then try to two to three times it will definitely get connect guys then after that simply do the same process as i said in the last video uh, go to the hack parameters then search for the maximum limit and then set it for with the 120 or uh, any height whichever you want and then you're good to go with the you're done with the aircraft and you're good to go So the next question is regarding uh, internet connection of the phone see before picking up the gps you should turn on your internet and uh, you, you should open the fake gps app and uh, you should pinpoint to the location where you want apart from some airport areas or any restricted areas you need to pinpoint and then uh, press on the green button Once fake GPS is done, then go to your map and check whether uh, your location is uh, correctly showing in the pinpointed area and see it's fetching and it's showing the correct location where I had pinpointed then go and uh, disconnect your internet then till your drone flies up more than 15 meters you are not going to connect your internet so next question was when to connect phone to RC Turn on your uh, RC and wait for your RC to get connected to your aircraft. Once it gets connected, and uh, don't give it, give more time and just take off, take off manually, and then after some height, then connect your phone to your RC. Presently, it's showing 15 meters maximum altitude. Once it's connected. It will start showing that 250 meters as the maximum altitude. Now you can see that it's showing 250 meters maximum altitude. So once it starts flying more than 15 meters, then from then onwards, you need not worry about when to connect phone and everything. You can keep your phone connected, does not matter. Uh, it will not come back to 15 meters when it is flying. It will only come back uh, to 15 meters when it gets GPS. That too, not in between the flight. Only if it it wants to come uh, back to 15 meters. Once you take off, that time itself it comes back to it comes back to 15 meters. It will not come back during your flight time or any other time. Uh, so the, this step has uh, nothing to worry about. And on screen you can see that my fake GPS is running and my internet is off. So follow all these steps guys, uh, your aircraft will definitely fly more than 15 meters. So now I am flying more than 100 meters, see as you can see on the screen. Many people were asking whether RTH will work after using fake GPS. Yes guys it will work, I have made a video on this also and I am mentioning the link in the description and uh, here somewhere in the i button you can see the link of that video also. And many people were asking is this method safe? Uh, definitely guys this method is safe before uploading the video i ha i had tested this uh, method for four days and i have tested in all parameters and uh, all uh, situations and even in the high wind everything i have tested and it's working fine and uh, you will not lose any uh, signal or anything this issue will not happen so this method is 100 percent uh, perfect and uh, this will uh, you will not lose any signals or anything so this method is 100 percent genuine guys most commonly asked question should we follow these steps every time before flying no guys you don't need to follow these steps every time these steps need to be followed only when you close your app if your app is locked and if you uh, if you close the app then only you need to configure else if you turn off your aircraft if you turn off your rc also it does not mind directly you can fly it but uh, if you close your app you need to uh, configure it again I exactly don't know how to hack uh, applications uh, so I'm working on it if I get the solution permanent solution I will definitely post it post the video on this channel guys stay tuned for this that's it for this video guys if you have any other questions uh, in your mind please feel free to comment below and I will be answering all your comments I'm very sorry guys if you have not got reply in Instagram uh, I will take out my time and reply you guys uh, hope I have answered all your questions please like and subscribe my channel thank you Can't stop.